Welcome back everyone. We're in the vegetable garden again today, as we can see here. Sunflowers are still looking really good. The corn's coming along nicely. We have a look at this one just here. You can see some red kernels in this one. Almost ready to pick. But we're going to be focusing here today. So this coriander, we're going to be cutting it all out. We'll be saving some seed. As you can see, there's a little green pods here. And some of them, if we find them just here, they've even started to turn brown. So we'll be saving some seed off this, but then we'll be cutting the plants out. The nasturtiums, we'll be cutting these out. They'll be going to the chooks. In the middle here, got a pot of oregano. So we'll be planting that into the ground. And while we're here, we'll be giving the whole bed a good top dress of compost and a nice sugarcane mulch on top. So we'll start off with the coriander. We'll cut some of these seeds off, get them into a nice paper bag and let them dry out. So we'll go get started. So when it comes to taking the seeds, it's as simple as cutting them off the plant and putting them into a paper bag like so and then just hang them somewhere nice and cool and dry and allow them time to dry out and you'll end up with plenty of seeds of this one beautiful plant. Now I'm going to cut out this plant and I'm going to cut it down here right at the ground level, just chop it all off. Um, I'm not going to pull the roots out, I'm going to leave them in the soil because I'll just add nutrients into the soil. And I'm going to do the same with the nasturtium here. So we'll go along and cut all of this out and get it prepped ready for the compost to go on. So these are the nasturtium plants with a couple of flowers on there. Give them to the chooks. And they can peck through them and eat what they want. And the rest will just get broken down. And we'll get back to the veggie garden. Alright, so there you go. I've cut out the nasturtium plants. I have left one here next to the spinach. Just gave it a good haircut. And we'll see how that goes once it's surrounded by compost and mulch. It might take off again. We'll see how it goes. Look at this. Big snail just resting here. He's probably the one that's been eating my spinach leaves. Anyway, here's chook food now. We'll go and see if the chook's like that. They took him straight away. And they're not really interested. And we'll get back into the garden. Okay, so as we can see, we've cut out the coriander. Now I have left it a little bit high on purpose, just to see if it will grow back. Um, you never know. And also here we've dug a hole for the oregano. So that'll go perfectly into place here. In between the rosemary. Now don't worry guys if you can hear those noises. They're not gunshots. Um, there's construction workers next door. But yeah. So to go between the rosemary and eventually we're going to be putting a tree in here. A fruit tree. Haven't decided which one yet. Which is why there's nothing there. And over here with these two little plants. We've just cut the bottoms out of some plastic pots to protect them from being getting buried under the compost and the mulch. So fingers crossed this works as well as it did for the parsley in under the bottle brush. And we'll get started now with the compost and then the mulch. So there we have it, the final result. So a nice thin layer of sugarcane mulch here over the top of the compost. And in the compost we also mixed in some extra worm castings. Got our little pots, plastic pots here around the nasturtium and the spinach to protect them and see hopefully they'll take off really good as well. Coriander's in full flower at the moment. It's had quite a few flowers. The rosemary's looking a bit sick, but we'll see how she goes. Hopefully it'll take off now that it gets a bit more sunlight. The coriander's not smothering everything. And the oregano. We finally got that into the ground. I've had that sitting in a pot sitting here for over a month now. So we'll give it a good drink. And hopefully this bed takes off. Like I said, we left the coriander. See how that goes. If it grows back, it grows back. If not, it'll just break down and feed the soil. And there we have it. Our veggie bed refurbished. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And have a look at this. I've just spotted down here on our Hoya plant. Look at the colour of this new growth. Looks amazing. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks and bye for now.